Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting doing to episode 10 of season 2, or really the second half of season 2, of the Ancient Madness Bride. <laughs> Let's gotta get started in 3, 2, 1, go. How doing your kingdom hearts on me now? I mean, but she's well technically she's kind of falling like sword in the water, but you know Oh my god. So now what? Grandma, what the fuck? See, okay, hold on. Let me say this. Let me say from what I've learned from Full Metal Alchemist all them years ago, you don't, you can't bring people back to life. There's like, it, it's, it's messed up. It's not good. You don't want to do that. It's, it's bad juju, bad vibes. You cannot bring someone back to the dead because they don't look the same as once they were. Plus, there's always a price to pay. No matter what it is, bringing someone back to life, always a price to pay. You can lose something. Your arm, your hand, egg, something. Is it really worth it to bring that person back? Hell no, it's not. Like. Did we not learn from all the other freaking series that tried to do that shit? No. You don't do that. Always a price. Always.
Mm. Well, we know that's not good. Yeah, but somewhere along the way, you messed up. Mm. And you wanted them to approve of you. And let me guess, she went through some dangerous ish just to bear a child. Died. What? <laughs> oh, in your hand. But you didn't. Mm. 
Jesus Christ, hold up now. Like, mm-mm. Your son's dead. Grandma nuts. Good job, Grandma. You fucked it up for everybody. I would hate to be in that house, man. <laughs> the ish that is going down. Mm -mm, mm -mm, no. I know I am. Yeah, all three of you need to go together. That's a better idea.
course. You can have freedom. Girl, hell no. Nah. Your grandma been lying to you probably since day one. That you didn't know that you were also going to be a sacrifice. Yeah, I think we can all agree on that. But she hated you. Maybe. No, that's wrong. You have she say. Right? I mean, that's the wrong thing.
So. Come on. Let's go home. Oh my god! That's how you end an episode! That's how you end an episode! Oh my god! <laughs> Finally! Because, I mean, for the longest time, there were so many people who spoke for her and such. And that, you know, for the longest time, she never felt like she had a voice, truly. And for her to finally say, help me, the one thing that, like, her... Isaac, Chise, Lucy, and even her cousin just wanted her to say because she can speak her own for herself and stand up for herself. And finally, she's able to do that. I'm, I'm so proud of her. Seriously, Grandma. Screw you, Grandma. Go. Can we kill Grandma, please? Because Grandma is a bitch. I, I mean, mm -mm. she need to go. Trying to kill your own grandchild to have your grandson, I mean, not your grandson, your son come back. And, and, you know, Phil thought she was doing this, you know, to greet, to make her grandmother proud and everything. And she's like, you know, the because I kept wondering, I was like, yeah, so what is good? Are, are her parents just going to magically come back? But no. She was going to be the ultimate sacrifice, which is fucked up. You would sacrifice your own grandchild. Your grandchild. What the hell? I mean, and that just tells you she she's been corrupt for such the, the longest time. First, it was the fact is when Adam fell in love with Philomena's mom and because she blamed everything on her. It's very similar. Ooh, I can't believe I'm about to talk to talk about this shit. Okay, you know how like the, the situation on TikTok and a little bit on YouTube, it's a situation that's been trending with moms who are very much like quote unquote in love with their, um, hold on my ear. Is saying, um, moms that are very much quote unquote in love, really that stick a step far a step farther with their sons and such, and they're trying to do everything in their power to like not have their son, their offspring, be in love with someone else and such. I mean, cause like I saw it first on TikTok and then it blew up when it was on YouTube, and I'm like, what the heck is this? I haven't watched the full, like, uh, quote-unquote video essay or video on it, but I've seen videos, and, like, you know, some of them are really funny, and then some of them are really serious, and I'm like, what the fuck? And, and that's what it feels like with this, that the grandmother was so in love with her own son that she doesn't want anyone to have him but her, because she clearly even stated he belongs to me. This bitch was over here like, yeah, he belonged to me and no one else. What the fuck? All right over there? Like, do, do we need to have a conversation? Apparently we need to because bitch. Hello? And then when Adam finally gets away from her, she lashes out. Girl. What the fuck? What the absolute fuck? Oh my god. That's all I gotta say about that. But the fact is that finally Phil spoke for herself and just said, help me. That almost broke, that broke me inside. I'm just like, huh. Oh.
I, I'm, I'm at peace with this. She's finally speaking up for herself. And that's the biggest thing that we needed for the longest time. So I'm glad it is finally happening for herself. I'm just proud of her. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 10 of the second half of season 2 of the Ancient Madness Bride. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday-ish, even though next week is Hell Week for me, aka leading up to Christmas. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.